The veteran actor William Shatner, who played Captain Kirk in the 60s television series Star Trek, will finally get an opportunity to venture into space at the age of 90. And he admits he's terrified at the prospect. He'll be on board the spacecraft developed by the multi-billionaire founder of Amazon, Jeff Bezos. High winds at the launch site have delayed the launch until Wednesday. Our correspondent Sophie Long sent this report from Texas. As cool and calm as Captain James T. Kirk. For decades, he played a character synonymous with space exploration. Now, at 90, he's about to boldly go where no nonagenarian sci-fi star has gone before. What a thing to have. He's the oldest guy that went into space. I want to have the vision. I want to see space. I want to see the Earth. I want to see what we need to do to save Earth. I want to have a perspective that hasn't been shown to me before. And you're going to hear the engine cut off. His highly anticipated blast-off has reignited interest in both the Star Trek exactly what I would have done. and Blue Origin brands, taking the world of PR to a stratospheric level. Now, fire blind, lay down a pattern. It comes amid claims the space company has a toxic environment and failed to adhere to proper safety protocols, accusations it denies. That just hasn't been my experience at Blue. We're, we're exceedingly thorough from the earliest days um, up through now as we've started our human flights and safety has always been our top priority. Rocket man, burning out his fuse out here alone. There's debate over whether he'll return to Earth an astronaut, but as he himself said, he will be a real rocket man. Like Blue Origin owner and Star Trek superfan Jeff Bezos, he'll experience zero gravity before gliding back to Earth. The billionaires leading this space race say it's more than a rocket-fueled ego trip. Yeah, well done. They claim it could help us all to live long and prosper. Sophie Long, BBC News, West Texas. Let's hope there are no Klingons in sight on the way.